Good morning everybody, hope you're all well. Sorry about the noise, I'm actually um, raising some beef because I'm doing a beef casserole for dinner tonight. So I thought I'd start it early, it's nearly seven o'clock, me and Miles have been up for like an hour. Um, yeah, I hope you're well. I haven't seen you since before our holiday, which seems like ages ago now. Um, yeah, I started my new job. This is my second week. Um, yeah, it's just been busy, you know, when things just have to settle. Like, kids are back at school, start a new job, I'm just kind of like trying to settle everything. My beef and my onions. I'm literally following the step by step. It's just so basic, honestly. I put the carrots in quite chunky because they're quite small carrots anyway. Yeah. That is gonna sit for the day. I had it on the saute and now I'm gonna put it on the stew. And I think I need to stop that first and then put it on the stew. I think about five hours. There we go, a bit quieter. But yeah, I really hope you're all well. We've had a good couple of weeks. Um, the weather's been crazy. It's been so wet. I know it's been so dry over summer, like most of this year, but you know, you just, it's like we've got literally all the rain in one week. It's just been insane. Um, but yeah, job's going well. It's my second week. I actually have to go in for a meeting today, but today is naturally my day off. Wednesday, Thursdays are my days off now. So we've had to juggle a few things about. Miles' nursery days have changed. Um, I plan on taking Miles swimming today. I try and do that every week. So Wednesday has usually been our swimming day, uh, just to spend a bit of time together. Um, housework. Yeah, a bit of a, more of a chill day, but I do have to go to work for an hour, um, a bit later. But yeah, generally, it's a bit of a home day, so I thought I would just kind of catch you up. And I know I put an Audi haul out yesterday, I went shopping yesterday. I feel like I haven't been to like food shopping for ages. I left it really, really late, you know, when you're just kind of scraping the barrel with food. Um, but yeah. I can't believe, like, we're in November. I think it's the 9th. The 9th of November. I feel like everyone's getting their Christmas tree up and it's just, like anything, it's really starting earlier and earlier. I'm not really at that stage yet. I'm kind of holding out because I don't really want the tree up yet. I think it, everything will just get super dusty if it's going to be up for, like, two months. So, yeah. Let me know if you've got your tree up. I feel like so many people have it out. And our holiday was really, really good. Like we had a great week away. We went to Dawlish, Devon. Uh, ne we've never been to kind of that part of Devon before. We've been, we've done a lot of Devon. It's about 20 minutes from Exeter. Um, it was a good week. Our lodge wasn't what we hoped for. It was very, I don't know, it was quite dated and it was just, it just needed a bit of a refresh a bit of a deep clean it was yeah it was a bit frustrating um about the lodge because we've done i've booked so many holidays and in lodges before over the years and i've never had really a bad experience but it wasn't that bad but it just wasn't it's not a place i would go back to i've had a couple of people ask me where we went and if i've given them a link and honestly like i don't really want to put that on you because i don't think it was worth it um, but we literally like, it was, we went to Creeley one day, we did a pumpkin patch in Exeter, um, but most evenings, I swear the only nicest thing about the lodge is that they'd just put in a new hot tub and it was so nice. Like that's the best part about it is that they had a brand spanking new, clean, lovely hot tub and we did use that every night and I played, we played board games pretty much every night with the big kids once Miles went to bed and just chilled. It had no Wi-Fi, which in some ways was actually really nice because the kids didn't couldn't go on their tablets or anything. And um, it just felt like we spent a lot of quality time together. Um, but yeah, it was the weather was really good as well. I got lucky with the weather. It was pretty dry apart from the last day, I think. 
so yeah, it was a good week. It was. It's always nice to get away and just um, go back to basics, you know, and actually spend some proper time together. Sun is out. It's the brightest I've seen it actually all week. Just having a quick breakfast. Just trying to get back into the swing of just eating in the morning, but this is super quick. Um, yeah. Just been going around all the rooms, you know what it's like? Just opening curtains and blinds and sorting out the swim bag. The lunch boxes are done. I put something in. Um, my, Alistair was in the hot tub last night, so I've had to. He just. Oh, his room is just. I've just gone through his room because he had ta wet towels everywhere and shorts, and I've. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway. A dishwasher on. Just those little bits. Where the weather's been so bad, like it's been really windy and really wet, but my windows are absolutely filthy. Just of like the dirt, I suppose, being just been flown about. Every window just looks awful. I can't even tell you the last time when we had the window cleaner. It was definitely when we were away in August. It was like ages ago. Miles is a bit touchy today, but he's had two days at nursery, so I always find he's the worst on the day after, you know? It's like, he's just tired. He slept all night, he slept really well actually. But I think just the whole combination of being nursery, two, two kind of school days, school hours. He's, uh, yeah, a bit touchy this morning. So I think I need to go pick up a couple of things. I'm gonna Castle Point first, and then we're gonna go swimming after. And then after that, we're gonna come straight home and I'm hoping he's just gonna have like an hour power nap in the car just to kind of get us by. And then I've got my meeting at like two, which is really awkward time because it means that Graham's got to get back from market, which is fine. He said it's fine. It's not something that happens very often, but it's just that awkward school run time. Right, everybody's at school. Me and Miles have just popped into Next. We were here so early, weren't we? Um, it wasn't even open, we just got down so early. Um, but we've just picked up what I needed to pick up. We actually, there's a Costa up at, upstairs in Next. So we just had a quick cup of tea, Hello. had a baby Chino. Um, and now we are heading swimming. Because it's swim day. It's fun. Yeah? Daddy's at work, isn't he? Right, swimming done. Time for a snack. It's 11 o'clock. Nearly, nearly an hour I'm swimming. It's enough. It's quite busy. Swimming lessons going on, but someone's having a snack. It's a bit tired, aren't you? Right, Mars is asleep. He was like, I'm not tired, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, yeah, yeah. And he was, he's just sound day. <sighs> smells so good. It smells a stew. Anyway, I've got to put all this swim wash stuff on. Get that washed. I actually picked up a couple of bits. Annoyingly, so if you, I don't know if anyone orders from Next, but if you have the annual thing, it's unlimited deliveries and next day delivery, blah, blah, blah. Well, basically for the last three to four months, Next used Every, which used to be Hermes, but now it's Every, it's like a delivery driver. The kind of self-employed delivery drivers. Anyway, the last three to four months, my delivery driver, if I order anything, and it has just so happens to use every, the delivery driver sends it back. Literally, it sends it back or it's lost. So I never have deliveries from every anymore, which is so disappointing because a lot of companies don't necessarily tell you and I don't really know what to do about it because obviously I've paid 20, I think it's like 20 pounds for the year with Next. I think it runs out in March, but I basically can't use the delivery service because I don't ever get my orders and I'm always chasing it and it just gets lost or they can't find my address. You know, it's just rubbish basically. They just don't want to come out here because we're quite rural, um, which is really naughty. It's like their job. Why the hell? Can't they just give it to someone else? You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, every time now I'm having to go and collect my stuff which is just frustrating because it's not what I pay for but anyway I've got a few um dinners coming up over December the end of this month over December and like oh, the other day we had friends over for dinner and 
you know, you're just like, I just don't know what to wear. I just haven't, I, haven't, I don't feel like I've got anything that's really overly dressy, but kind of smart cash, like without going down the dress route, but having like a nice skirt or I've got some like leather trousers, a leather skirt, pleather, you know. I haven't got any nice tops to go with it. I've only got like strappy tops. It's far too cold for that. So I thought, well, I'll see if I can find stuff online. So I found this one, which is a Rochelle Humes one. This one is, it's like a silvery bodysuit. I thought that was quite cool. It looked really nice on her actually, on the picture. Um, so I just wanted some, I want something a little bit more dressy, you know, like, this is obviously like silvery, a bit more Christmassy, festive. So these are the other two. This sort of greeny, I think it's like a snake, is that a snake skin effect. But I thought that was quite nice. In the picture actually, it looks, I would say more of a vibrant green. Um, but I thought tucked into a nice pleather skirt or some leather trousers. Um, it's kind of, this, whoa, this one's really long actually. I don't know how that's going to look tucked in. That is extremely long. Can you see how long that is? But I really love it. And actually, I, I ordered this originally to be delivered and I had to, they had to just kind of credit it back to me because it never got to me. And then I saw this one, this metallic -y one. It has no um, collar. Again, it looked a bit more coppery in the picture. Okay, so we've got green shirt. See the green? I do really like this. It's really long though. Like the shirt is tucked up right down here. But um, the skirt is actually last year H&M. I got it probably this time last year, maybe a bit earlier in the year, but the zip's at the back, which I quite like. Um, but yeah, I do like that. I could wear a nice boot with it, some tights. Um, I do like the green. I wish it was a bit more vibrant though. I do think it's a lot more subtle than the picture. I feel like this one is a, just feels a bit more Christmassy. Like it's just a bit more vibrant. I think with some nice jewelry on. I do really like that actually. Um, it's not as long either. It's probably tucked to about here. Okay, I think this one's probably the most dressiest one. I like the fact that it's a bodysuit, so it doesn't have that extra fabric. Um, it's got a little popper here, but it's kind of like this stretchy, it's a lot thinner, uh, a bit more of a stretchy material. But yeah, I actually think I prefer this out of all of them. I just feel like it's just that little bit more flattering. I think with a nice necklace, my hair down. It's just, yeah, screams a bit more Christmassy, doesn't it? A bit more like festive to go out for dinner. Show you that one a bit better. See, see the like stretchy, it's kind of stretchy, but really comfy, not too heavy. And when you go out for dinner, you end up getting really, really hot. But yeah, I think this one's definitely my favorite. I think I'm gonna keep this one. There's not much fabric, it's just, yeah. Right, when Miles is still asleep, I'm actually gonna just prep potatoes and stuff because I'm probably going to be out for a good hour and a half, two hours by the time I get home, about four. I don't really want much to do. I think Graham can just put the spuds on because I have stew's nearly finished. Just literally, I'm going to keep it on warm for the rest of the day. I probably could have put it on a bit later because obviously it only takes five hours tops because um, you just leave the onions, the carrots and the beef together and that's pretty much it and then you, you can add mushrooms. Why do I not add mushrooms? I might add mushrooms actually in a minute because I have got them. Um, but I'm going to do mash with it and then just some broccoli, of course. So it's officially a bird flu season again. I feel like this is going to happen every year. We didn't actually have turkeys last year. I think I might have said that we actually couldn't get hold of any. They were just really hard to come by and just people didn't want to kind of sell them for cheap. Like, not necessarily cheap, but to make a profit on them so we ended up just not getting any um so this year obviously we've, we have got turkeys we've got we've got 25 i think but yeah so bird flu season um we were officially emailed to say that we have to keep our hens in because obviously we've got laying hens as well um from monday today is wednesday and um 
yeah, so they are classed as barn eggs now and not free range, which is really frustrating and it's frustrating for them. I mean, where it's been so wet, it hasn't been so bad, but now obviously, well, like today's a nice day. But, um, so basically Graham, like the turkeys and the geese as well, and are obviously are just home chickens. Um, Graham basically got a massive net and you can actually, you can still let them out as long as they're kind of enclosed in a net and birds can't get in, if that makes sense. So for the last couple of days, they've been doing that and they've just been loving still being able to have fresh air and come out and still scratch about. I've literally got home from swimming and all the chickens are out. So they've obviously found a hole somewhere in the net. And I've messaged Graham like, uh, the chickens are out, um, which is not a terrible thing. I mean, obviously it's not ideal, but as long as the turkeys and the geese are in, which is more important because they're so much bigger. Um, yeah, so we've only got, I think, maybe 10 chickens, I think. So yeah, I don't know how they've got out. Very happy scratching around while the uh, turkeys and the geese are in. But yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. And I'm, I'm glad, you know, we've actually made it so they can actually still come out because, you know, a lot of turkeys now will either be cold early and frozen um, or just have to stay inside now until they're big enough to be cold. And it's just, it's just crap for them, isn't it? It's crap, you know? Um, like turkeys, they have a short life anyway, but at least like for us, they have a good life being free range and they can still be part, basically free range as long as they're penned in. I'll probably show you them later. But yeah, the chickens are out. I'm actually gonna wake Miles up now because I, I think he's been asleep for probably about 50 minutes. I just don't want him having too long. It's 12 o'clock now and he, yeah, he's not one to necessarily nap. He just needs this little something because of nursery. But I've done him a quick bit of a cheats lunch because I got this from Aldi yesterday. He loves these anyway, but he's not had this one before, but I'm sure it's, it looks practically the same as the Derry one. Grapes and a yogurt. Look at all the goodies Graham's brought back from the farmer's market. Strawberries are interesting though, because they're not really in season anymore. Asparagus, lots of broccoli, honeydew, lots of kale, carrots, we've got ooh, new potatoes, lots of good stuff. Oh, cauliflower, I've been really into cauliflower lately, as you can probably tell. The purple one's pretty nice. It's, it's definitely a different, little bit of a different texture, I would say. Um, but yeah, I do love it. I might do a cauliflower cheese, actually. Look at these at Graham Pigs. He always picks up something from Lidl. Literally, there's just always something. You've got these little paint your own ceramic LED Christmas figure. There's that one, that one. Apparently they were a few pounds. I don't know if they were 2 or I don't know. They look cute though. Right, now Graham's back. I'm actually headed off to my work meeting. So I'll be back in a couple of hours. So I'll see you. I'm hoping I'll be back by four. I'm home. I literally got home dead on four o'clock and I've just put the spuds on, get them cooking so then I can mash them, put the veg on, and then that's pretty much it for the food. Graham obviously did school pick up. Um, I've just been putting away some of the fruit and veggie stuff. I still got so lot to put away. And look at that blue sky now. It was absolutely heaving down, like so wet earlier. And even our, look, it blew, the wind was so strong, it blew the the cover off. So was, <gasps> what are you doing? I saw you bring in that basket, you cheeky boy. Or your teddies. He's playing the floor as lava. <laughs> Georgie, don't fall in the lava. <laughs> Overview of dinner. Graham's, look how cool the cauliflower looks. I think it's turned out really well. Alistair's, mine. Miles, violets.
Good morning, everybody. I look like such a sweaty tomato, but I just got back from the gym. I cut you off on Wednesday. Today is Friday. I don't actually know why or what we did. Went swimming miles because I do that every Wednesday. I don't know. We just had a chilled afternoon, I think. It's, you know, when it's your day off, you just chill. I saw my mum yesterday, went for lunch. It's lovely. Um, and today... Um, I actually work in the afternoon, so this is kind of my day where I work in the afternoon. So I'm not home till about half past six, which, um, yeah, it just means that it just everything's a little bit shuffled later. But then I get my morning to myself because we've kept Miles still in nursery because obviously we still need that bit of childcare. He still goes to school hours on a, on a Friday. Um, so yeah, I get a bit of time to myself. I hope you're doing good. I can't believe it's Friday and I was just looking at the date because uh, we've got roadworks going on at the moment where we live and it's been going on forever and I think the road opens on the 15th and I was thinking what is the date today? I thought it's ages away. Um, it's the 11th today which is crazy. We're nearly halfway through November already. Like, it's madness. I'm going to Lapland in the middle of December. Like, it feels like it's all just coming around really, really quickly and I'm not prepared at all. But anyway, yeah, I just got back from the gym, as you can see. Full-on tomato face. I need to have a shower. I'm just... I don't know what to do. I don't know how to eat first. We haven't got a shower. I need to walk the dogs. I want to get out my carpet cleaner because we've still got two carpets. Out of the whole house, we've only got two carpets left. So in our room, in Violet's room, really want to... I spilled a protein shake a couple of days ago and it's... It, yeah, it needs, it can't, you know, when you just shake it and it literally went everywhere in my bedroom and I've just left it for the last few days. So it's manky and I need to go over them and it's been at least six months since we've had it out. So I need to get the carpet cleaner out while nobody's in the house and I'm going to be out for the afternoon. My battery just died. Um, I think I was saying the other day that the, we're in like bird flu lockdown at the moment again. So um, the chickens were out. The other day, Graham got them back in. Just come home from the gym and the geese are out. Like, ugh, nightmare. And they're super happy about it. You can imagine. They're so loud and excited. Um, I think I've got to put some washing on this morning. The dishwasher needs emptying. I've just got a whole list of things. You know, you just got like random list of chores. There's always stuff to do. I've never got anything to do. I've got an episode of the Kardashians to catch up on. I've literally just finished... Uh, Love is Blind series three they finally put out the last episode uh, actually the last two so it's the last I think it's two couples getting married might have been three couples getting married I won't do spoilers or anything um, and then also the reunion which was so awkward awkward but it's so good I just love it I just had to watch it so um, I finished watching the last little snippet of that I think the last 20 minutes of it this morning while everyone was kind of frantically getting ready for school. So yeah, that is the plan for today. I need to eat food. I had some porridge this morning before I Bit of a windy grey day today. Look at this. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. But it's dry, so I'm going to be happy about that. I can't say I massively enjoy doing like an afternoon shift, but it's not very long. It's like two till half six. Um, and I get my weekends off now, so I'm just so happy about that. I think we, when I went back to working weekends and I was working weekends when I was in retail as well, it's just, it kind of felt like the norm, but it feels so nice just to bring it back, just to lose an evening to get my whole weekends back. It's just so worth it. Um, so yeah. We do love our Friday movie nights, which it just means everything just drags a little bit later, which is absolutely fine. The kids are getting older now, they stay up later anyway. Hello, girl. Hello. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. on that. Hey Wiggy. Happy pig. Yep, I officially have the most 
coolest 90. Look at this from Primark. £11. Yep, that's the Christmasness that I've got to right now. My Max. Um, I'm doing my Ivy wrap, but I swear, I swear these wraps are getting smaller. Honestly, they used to fit nicely, like really nicely in this pan, and now it seems like they're shrinking. But I am I'm going to eat this, watch half of the latest Kardashian episode, and then get the floor cleaner out, carpet cleaner, and then watch, sit down and watch the rest of it before I go off. What's the time? 20 to 11 before I go off to get my nails done at 12. Right, I've just hoovered the house because it's important to hoover the carpets before. Um, I've just got, I just filled my, um, I've got the Vax Rapid. I'll try and leave it linked. Um, we've had it a couple of years now. Really good. Um, this is the detergent stuff we use, carpet shampoo. I think it's just from Amazon as well. So yeah, half water and this is the bit for the detergent solution. Um, and then you literally just clip it on. I always make sure the water is like a good temperature, not cold, like just, it doesn't say boiling hot, but a good warm temperature. And um, yeah, that is what it looks like. This is really kind of tarnished. It looks really gross. That's obviously where all the dirty stuff holds. But yeah, it's very, it's a lot smaller than like, my mum used to have one many years ago and it was giant. This, and literally, you just plug it in, it's like a trigger. You trigger for the shampoo to come out and then you draw it back like you would a rug doctor or, or like a normal hoover. Um, but yeah, I have hoovered already, but you can see there's like the odd little stain. We've got like a pink little patch over here, but this is basically the foot flow. So I'm not, you know, where everything is, I'm not gonna obviously move all that out because it's mainly just the flow of when you walk through. Same with our carpet. It's this runway, you can see it's dark, it's like dingy compared to along here. This is obviously looks a lot newer. This is where we just walk through mainly. Done. You can see that mark there, but to be perfectly honest, I think that's been there a long time. And I don't think we've been able to get it out. So, yeah. I always put like a little towel here because it does seep a little bit once you turn it off. But can you see the grime? Deliciousness. Looks like grime. Ugh. Done. I swear it barely takes 10 minutes. It's just. Right, off to get these nails done. It's probably going to take him one to two hours for the carpets to dry. It is super quick. Um, I did leave a couple windows open, but generally. Where it's been really mild, the house is pretty warm anyway. Right, I'm home. Nails done. She kind of did more of a, usually it's like a French, but with like a pink. Yeah, she used like more of like a nudie peachy color, but they look really good. She was really like precise today. A lot of the time it's like, and today she was just like, I could see she's just been really picky. She's in obviously one of those moods, but they look really, really nice, really natural actually with the peachy instead of the pink. I've just scraped my hair up. I think I'm gonna, I go back to the hairdressers yeah, early December. And I'm just gonna have like a little trim, but I'm trying to grow my hair out just a little bit. I feel like it's got a little bit shorter at the back that I just, I find it really hard. Do you know when you have days where you just wanna scrape your hair back and just put it up? I find that really difficult with the length of my hair at the moment. Um, so I've, yeah, this is the best I've done. This is, it feels like it's the longest it's been in a, quite a while. Um, but yeah, you can see I have put, like, pinned it up. But I feel like I'm just gonna, like, grow it out just a little bit. I want it just to have a little bit more length to it. I remember for my birthday, beginning of this year, I had a really nice sort of, I'm, I'm probably gonna have the balayage put back in, but I had, like, this really nice sort of, cut and it was i just remember i just really liked it but i could still put like scrape my hair up and put it back anyway it is just after one so i haven't got much time i've probably got about an hour at tops i'm gonna i don't know if i should have a cup of tea or i don't know if i should eat now because i'm not obviously gonna eat till later um i'm not sure so I've got some leftover pulled chicken. It's not a massive amount, so I might have some of that. 
and then I also got there was like I think it's three for a pound for these naked sort of noodle soups. They had like a few different versions, so I, I basically bought one of each from B and M. So I think I'm going to have one of those. It's not too heavy. Gorgeous sun is out. I am off to work. So I will see you in a bit. I will be back and I think me and Violet plan on watching one of the new movies on Netflix. It's got um, Lindsay Lohan in it. Right, I'm home. I completely forgot they've got karate tonight. So um, they should be back short, like really soon actually in the next five, 10 minutes. I've just, uh, you know, just done the usual run around and just get Miles' bed stuff out and just potted around and done little bits. And I've just come in and just stuffed my face with like two slices of pizza as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get changed in a minute. This is what Miles did at nursery. How cute is this? Handprints. But yeah, I've just been putting stuff back into the dishwasher, just trying to tidy up a little bit. This is like the leftover pizza. Pour myself some Prosecco. The floor should be dry now, so I'm gonna put rugs and stuff back if Graham hasn't already done that. Honestly, you when you take that first sip of wine and it kind of gives you that little remembrance of how rough I felt last weekend. So we had some friends over um, for I just a steak night and it was just lovely to catch up, but oh my God, I had one cracker of a blimmin migraine and like hangover the next day i just felt so rough yeah so yeah this is definitely going to be my only one but i think it's because i had a glass of prosecco before they came because we were kind of you know i just wanted a drink and i just thought well i'm cooking um and then i had finished off my um i had already had an open bottle of like rosé so I finished off a glass of that and then we went straight on to red and I think the combination just, it obviously didn't hit me right. So yeah, <laughs> never mind. I'll stick to my Prosecco tonight though. <laughs> I feel so weird not having any of the kids home because I haven't seen them all day. Like literally all day. <sighs> but Violet's carpet looks really good. It looks so clean. Um, washing Violet's load and her lunch box. Needs sorting. Going to put the fire on. We still haven't put the Rayburn on yet to heat the house. That's how mild it's been. It's like, I think it's been about 13 to 15 degrees today. It's pretty like spring weather. Um, um, I do this. Yeah. And kick. Yeah, what else? Um, I do this. Oh. I'll do this at a party. <laughs> Whoa, that's powerful, especially with those Christmas socks on. This is a good one. You're funny. You literally can't take that seriously. <laughs> that has just gone in the oven, followed by. My, these are incredible. I picked these up yesterday and with my mum. It's like a Friday treat. These are incredible if you haven't. They've changed packaging. So before they used to be like a pink packaging. So that's why it confused me. I hadn't bought them for ages and I realised they just made it orange, the packet. These are so good. Marshmallow, brownie. Mm. 